Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with Prayer 2021 for today, March 13th. We're sponsored by PodcastForChrist.com. So if you have a Christian podcast or you're looking at starting one, go to PodcastForChrist.com, take a look around, download that free resource right there on the page, How to Start a Christian Podcast. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is from Colossians chapter 1, verse 9. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day where we get to come to the throne room and the throne of grace and of mercy, lifting our petitions to the Most High God in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our salvation. We thank you for the privilege of being in the body of Christ. We thank you for loving us so much that you gave Jesus as the sacrifice for our sin. Lord, forgive us. Forgive us of what we've done. Forgive us of all our past. And Lord, now, by your Holy Spirit, lead and guide us through this prayer session. Lord, that we can learn more about you, learn more about how powerful prayer truly is. And Father, we give you all honor and glory and praise for all that you're doing through the leadership of your spirit right now in this prayer session. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Glory to God. Today I want to talk to you about whatsoever you ask. Now this is just part one of a couple parts, but... You know, we've been studying about the importance of praying in Jesus' name. And this one thing can move you from wondering if God hears your prayers to knowing God hears your prayers. Why? Because Jesus said so. That's the only reason. Amen. Let's look at John 16, verse 23 and 24. In that day you'll ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you that whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name. He will give it to you. Hitherto you've asked nothing in my name. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Now focus for just a moment on that word whatsoever in verse 23. And then in the very next verse, Jesus said, Hitherto or up until now, you've asked nothing in my name. So ask. Where did I get so from? Well, do you see that colon? in the King James Version after the the word name, a colon means so or so that. So here Jesus is saying, up until now you've asked nothing, you've asked God for nothing in my name, so ask, praise God. I mean, it says what it says, even with the grammar and the punctuation marks, glory to God. Jesus is instructing his disciples to begin praying to God the Father in his name, and when they do so, they will receive whatsoever they are asking God for. Amen. Do you see any limitations put on that verse of Scripture by Jesus? Is Jesus stipulating, well, this only works in this situation, or this will only work for this period of time? Do you see anything like that here? I don't see any at all. Do you? Now, we've already established the fact that you need to pray according to the Word of God and God's will. So you just can't start asking God for $10 million and say, in the name of Jesus, and expect it to, you know, to receive it. At least for most of us, right? There may be someone who needs that amount of money to accomplish something the Lord has put upon them to do. But I'm talking about here in general terms. Amen? Now, we've been reading this verse for years. But for many of us, we let the full significance of what Jesus has been teaching just to slip right past us. We do that too often with the Bible. It's time that we slow down and actually see and read and understand what's written here. Don't you agree? Remember, you need to ask in accordance with God's word and God's will. You cannot ask for things that would violate his word or his will. And the point I'm trying to make here is that if you are praying scripturally based on the word of God, you don't need to ask if it's the will of God, if it be thy will. You know, that, that phrase, that, that, that one phrase just gets on my nerves every time I hear it. If it be thy will, right? Why? 
Because if you pray according to the word of God, you already know if it's God's will. Hell, don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. Glory to God. That word whatsoever means more to some people than it does to others. Whatsoever to some people means just a little bit of something. Some people believe that whatsoever in John 16, 23 means whatsoever you ask for spiritually or not materially. But does it say whatsoever you ask for spiritually? Does it say whatsoever you ask for except for material things? No. The Word of God, folks, explains itself. All you have to do is three things. Read it, believe it, receive it. Amen. Don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. Glory to God. Read it, believe it, and receive it. It is that simple. It is man that has complicated things, not God. Certainly not Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray that you are seeing what I'm trying to share with you. And, and you can see just how simple Jesus has made it for us to receive the answers to our prayers. Amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to this day. Anyone within the sound of my voice watching this broadcast, watching the recording, listening to the podcast, Lord, they have a need right now. A need that to them is a definite need, a need which to them is weighing heavily on their spirit. I'm putting my faith in agreement with them right now, according to your word, and Lord, show them all they have to do is ask the Father in your name, in Jesus' name. Go ahead, ask right now. Ask him. Father, in Jesus' name, heal my body, heal my child. Provide the job, give an open door for whatever your need is. And Father, I thank you that right now, in Jesus' name, as they've asked whatsoever their desire is, that is a testimony to the power of prayer and faith in Jesus, you would meet that need. Open that door. Heal that person. Provide that income. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, this shall come to pass this day. And Father, we give you all honor and glory and praise for your word, for thy word is truth. And Jesus, thank you for making it all possible. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. If you pray that prayer, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you're praying for. I want to pray in agreement with you specifically. If I see your name on there, then I can do that. Amen. If you are watching this on YouTube, you can do the same thing, but leave that little thumbs up sign so that you know they know that everyone loved this uh, this portion and it'll help promote the whole, whole channel on YouTube and Facebook and all that. Amen. Now, do me a favor, if you can take a couple minutes, go over on iTunes and leave us a rating and review there because that helps us to get the word out into all the earth as well. And be sure to visit our website, podcastforchrist.com. Download that free resource, How to Start a Christian Podcast. It's free. It'll bless you immensely, especially if you have or you are starting a Christian podcast of your own. Till next time, this is Pastor Bob Thibodeau reminding from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 in the Living Bible, always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks, in all that you do.